overview of the tools panel. Photoshop provides an integrated set of tools. Some tools are arranged in groups. Only one tool is shown for each group and others are hidden behind that tool. A small triangle is the lower right corner of a tool icon indicates hidden tools. To select a hidden tool, click and hold down the small triangle. Now, we will discuss only some basic tools. Selection tools Move tool Used to select and move objects on the page. Click the tool button and then click on any object on the page you wish to move. Rectangular marquee tool Selects an object by drawing a rectangle around it. Choose the rectangular marquee. Drag the marquee over the area of the image you wish to select. Other marquee tools hidden in it are Elliptical marquee tool, Single row marquee tool and Single column marquee tool. Lasso tool Selects an object by drawing a freehand border around it. Click the tool button, drag to draw a freehand border around the area you wish to select. Magic wand tool Selects all objects in a document with the same or similar fill color, stroke weight, stroke color, opacity or bending mode. By specifying the color range or tolerance, you can control what the magic wand tool selects. Crop tool Click the tool button, then click and drag the tool over the part of the image that you want to keep. Resize the selected area by dragging the squares at the sides and corners. Press Enter key when you have done. Eyedropper tool Takes color samples from colors on the page and displays them in the color boxes. Select the tool, click on the color in the image you wish to display. The color box will display this color. Alteration tools Healing brush tool Correct small blemishes in scanned photos. Select the tool, hold down the Alt key and left click on the base color you need to heal. Then left click over the blemish. Brush tool Draws brush strokes of different thickness and colors. Clone stamp tool Takes a sample of an image and applies over another image. Art history blush tool Paints over an image using the source data from a specified history state or snapshot. Eraser tool Removes part of an existing path or stroke. You can use the Erase tool on paths. Paint Bucket Tool Applies a color fill to a selected part of the image or to an entire layer. Blur Tool Blurs the sharp edges of an image. Drawing and Selection Tools Path Selection Tool Select paths and path segments. Select the tool. Click anywhere on the path. Type Tool Types text on a page. Every time you click the type tool on a new portion of the page, a new layer will be created. Pen tool. Draw small edges paths. Select the tool. Click on the page and drag to draw a path. Click and drag the anchor points to modify the path. Rectangle tool. Draws a rectangle. Other shapes that are hidden in this tool are rounded, rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool, Line Tool and Custom Shape Tool Additional Tools Hand Allows you to move around within the image Zoom Magnifies or reduces the display of any area in your image window Understanding Foreground and Background Colors The foreground and background colors are the way of identifying your primary painting color and the color of the background layer. The color applied to the document with painting or drawing tools is the foreground color called active color also. The primary purpose of background color is to instruct Photoshop how to handle erasing on the background layer. Eraser tool on a Photoshop layer. The pixels are converted to transparency. Eraser tool on the background. Replaces the erased pixels with the current background color. Color Boxes The foreground color appears in the upper color selection box and represents a color that is currently active. The background color appears in the lower box and represents an inactive image. Changing Foreground or Background Color Click the Foreground or Background thumbnail to choose the color for the same. 
create a color in the color panel or click on color swatch in the swatches panel to change the foreground or background color or click the foreground or background color box the color picker dialog box appears select a color you can enter color values also click okay switch the foreground and background colors click the switch foreground and background colors button to switch current colors revert the foreground and background colors to default select the default foreground and background colors button to revert the foreground and background colors to their default values of black and white 